Hey guys, welcome back to The Dev Show. Today, I am headed to Frightmare in the Falls slash Niagara Falls Comic Con Fest. We have media, we're taking you inside, we're gonna get a good look around, and I don't have a cosplay because I'm not quite on that yet. I will be doing cosplays. Now, don't get me wrong, I will be doing cosplays, and I'll let you guys help me decide what I'm gonna wear. Um, but today, for the sake of Frightmare in the Falls, I figure I'm just gonna wear my picture of Mr. Mosby screaming because it kind of works anyways let's go coming at you from camera two because my camera is uh currently wrapped up because of the rain we're at wendy's and we're gonna get a salad put something in me before we go to the event Hey guys, so we are here at Frightmare in the Falls today. Um, I'm also going to Niagara Falls Comic Con Fest. We're gonna get to that a little bit later. I'm super excited to be back at events. This is the first convention that we're doing in over a year. I mean, we did go to Reptile Expo, but besides that, uh, I'm here at Frightmare. We're gonna talk to some special guests. We're gonna take a look at the vendors. So stick around. This is gonna be a good one. this $20 cup from Deadly Grounds Coffee. I get coffee for the rest of the event, so game changer. All right, guys, it's Dev. I'm here at Frightmare in the Falls. I'm here with Kim Coates. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Nice to be back. How you doing, bud? I'm doing good. It is nice to be back yeah. and seeing faces again. Are conventions your thing? I seen you did one a couple weeks ago. Conventions aren't really my thing, but how lucky are we that they're coming back again after that, you know, two-year hiatus of the COVID thing, and obviously everyone's vaccinated here, we're all doing the right thing, and wearing your mask, you still got yours on, Yeah. we're taking pictures, we're seeing people again, so yeah, I was in Philly last weekend, Niagara Falls with you this weekend, mm -hmm. um, I got a couple over in Europe coming up in, in November, I'm looking forward to that, I got a lot of pals over there, but I've basically just been working my ass off in movies and miniseries and, 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 yeah. and staying safe and hopefully smart and it's just nice to come out and my charities you know they really they really win from me doing these things and I'm, I'm happy to be here Cosplayed this weekend. I I am well. It's Halloween too, but uh, well, not Halloween too. It's <laughs> Halloween Kills is out, but Halloween Two has been out for years. But this is Halloween as well. Have you done many events prior to this? Yes. In life, you mean, or, or oh. during COVID? In life. In life, I uh, I probably I think I did seven in like from 2013 to 2015. I did seven of mm -hmm. these, and then I I got. I did uh, Victor Crowley, uh, Hatchet, four, yeah. and I met, um, that's where I met uh, Felissa Rose, who's a veteran of these things, started doing movies together, we've done 28 movies, and part of that, doing those films, part of this, the concept is that we promote them on festivals like this, yeah, yeah. so it's part of the whole package, uh, getting involved in that manner of making uh, lower budget horror movies, Right. you don't have them... There's no backing way to, you know, there's not a deep wallet to basically go out and advertise. So you do it through grassroots by going out and interfacing with the fans, which yeah. I love. And she likes it a lot. We have a ball touring around and we get to come to places like this, like Niagara yeah, Falls. Yeah. Guys, I've just been sponsored by Deadly Grounds Coffee. No, I haven't, but they've been keeping me awake. So shout out to them.
Hey guys, I'm here with my friend Lou Nuami. This is the second time I've interviewed you since I started the channel. The first time I was a little bit smaller. Um, <laughs> But now we're here, yeah, exactly. media for the first time. Awesome, man. It's great seeing um, you grow. It's yeah, great. Um, it's great seeing you grow as well, man. Yeah. Not physically, but <laughs> with the comics and with everything that's going on. Exactly. I was just boggled by the the style of art that you do because it's it is very unique. Yes. Um, so tell me a little bit about what's been going on with you the past little while. Well, I know when we first really met, I think it was Hamilton, maybe years ago in Niagara. Yeah. And we were both really starting off. And so, for me, I, I have multiple disciplines. So I do comic books now, multiple comic books. I make uh, handmade cardboard glow-in-the-dark artwork. Yeah. And yeah, I've been just growing and expanding and going to Comic Cons in Canada, United States. So, but whenever James has his Frightmare show, I got to show up. I right. love horror fans. Right. Uh, you know their dedication to the genre. And so I'm here, also even representing comic books from Boston, uh, from Massachusetts. That's nice. um, uh, Limitless Comics, my friend Anthony Moore. So my books, other horror comic books, it, it's just been a great ride.